All right. After a little time off, it's good to be back. Shanks and Bomb Burgers, two bourbons brought to you by the good folks at Michter's. These two bottles are the lone offerings in the Legacy series, uh, but they are vastly different and usually released around the same time. Both refer to the distillery that would eventually become the original Michter's Distillery, the one originally in Pennsylvania, not the one that's in Louisville, Kentucky. But in the context of special releases from Michter's, when you think about it, these are relatively affordable at about 100 to 120 bucks. But which one should you be buying? Let's talk a little history, taste them, break them down. It's a double bourbon review kind of day. Come right back, it's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Mass and Drum and welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, and help grow the channel for 2023. Thank you so much for all the support, Whiskey Tube family. Now, as I mentioned, these two bottles tell a story of the long history at Michter's, but before we dive into the history, let's hear from today's video sponsor. It is the game changer, Z-Biotics. Today's sponsor is Z-Biotics, the amazing prebiotic I've been using behind the scenes for over a year now. Uh, with all the great feedback from viewers and all the different folks that are reaching out to me and saying how much they love this stuff, it's really become the first drink of the night for a better tomorrow. I've talked about the single barrels that I pick and blending that I do, but you know, being that it's summertime, when I go to barbecues or I go to you know family events, you know, it's either cold beers or sometimes even cold cocktails. So I'm always glad to have Zbiotics in my back pocket just for those occasions. So how does this stuff work so well? Zbiotics was developed by some very, very smart scientists who knew the real problem is not dehydration when you drink. It's actually a byproduct of alcohol that is most responsible for rough mornings after drinking. Zbiotics produces an enzyme like the one your liver uses to break down this byproduct. So anytime I know I'm gonna have a few drinks, go to a barbecue or blend or uh, whether it's the night of one of my live streams, I take Zbiotics and the next day I wake up, go to work, get back to the gym, and I bounce back faster than ever. Now it's not that hard guys, all you gotta do is drink one of these about an hour before you start drinking and that's it. Now still drink water to stay hydrated throughout the night, get a good night's sleep, but Zbiotics will make it a lot easier to get out of bed or get off the couch the next day. This has no random plant extracts, no off the shelf ingredients, no sugar added, it's real science that works. And on top of that, there's a 100% money back guarantee, so why not give it a try? Here's how. Get 15% off your first order of Zbiotics Pre Alcohol Probiotic by clicking the link in the description box and using my code MASH and DRUM at checkout. On top of that, if you leave a comment below on how Zbiotics works so well for you and why you think others should try it, Zbiotics may choose you to win a free 12 pack. That's right, a free 12 pack of Zbiotics. So go grab some now and thanks to Zbiotics and to all of you watching for making the sponsors happen. All right guys, so first one up is Shanks. So Shanks Homestead Distillery Sour Mash Whiskey uh, honors the legacy of American whiskey figure John Shank, who in 1753 founded a distillery that was to become known as Michter's in the 20th century. Now it is made in Kentucky according to the traditional sour mash process where a portion of the previously distilled whiskey mash referred to as setback is added into the next batch. It's also made with a substantial amount of rye grain. Now when talking about the 2023 edition, it's a bit more unique uh, because the addition of malted rye has been added to the recipe. On top of that, to age the 2023 shanks, a portion was aged in 18 month air dried and seasoned wood with Michter's signature toast and char profile. The other portion was aged in toasted French oak barrels that were air dried for 24 months and sourced directly from France. It's bottled at 91.2 proof and retails for about 100 bucks but I see prices on this one fluctuate a lot. Some people will charge upwards of two to 250 for this one, but really retail, you're looking at about a hundred bucks. All right, let's dive into this one. So I absolutely love the nose on this. This is, this is my profile in particular. It brings a lot of toffee, very buttery, little butterscotchy, if I would say so myself here. I think I'm getting some raspberry in here too. It's kind of like this nice combination of like apple, cherry, raspberry, I think. But I think it's it's still, that's an underlying note for me as really the toffee and the butteriness of this really stands out. A little bit of spice too. All right, let's give it a go, cheers. So really good spice from the French oak on this, I think. 
Um, that's the first and foremost thing I get. The palette is a little bit more chocolatey than the nose. I think the nose is very fruit forward. The nose is very, um, you know, toffee forward. But when it hits the palate, it becomes a little bit more of a chocolatey type experience to kind of go along with that fruit. Wow, second sip was different, but still very good. I think the spice starts kind of taking a little bit of a back seat, but what you're left with are like these dark fruit notes covered in toffee and caramel, a little bit like a vanilla custard. And then that spice that I got so prevalently in the, in the first sip is now all in the kind of the back area, like right at the back end. It's there, it's very faint, but it kind of gives you a nice little bit of a, I don't know, a little tingly spice characteristic, especially on the back of the palate. Wow, now I'm just getting like butter cookie, vanilla icing. Every time I go back to it, it gets sweeter, a little bit more buttery. So this is a profile I really like, and this is dangerously <laughs> delicious at only, you know, 91 proof and change. So, all right, let's compare it now to the Bomb Burgers. All right, next is the 2023 Bomb Burgers Declaration. That's the full name of it. And this honors the legacy of the former distillery known as Bomb Burgers in the 1800s and later as Michter's in the 20th century. Now the 2023 release continues to be the higher proof offering of the two, coming in at 108 proof. Now a portion of the bourbon was aged in chinquapin oak, which was naturally air dried and seasoned for three years before being toasted and charred utilizing specifications from Master of Maturation, Andrea Wilson. Now, in addition, some malted rye was used in the production of this bourbon, again, just like the Shanks. The price for this one is usually a bit higher, but it's about 110 bucks. But again, you see a lot of fluctuation, just like I mentioned with the Shanks. All right, let's nose this one. Wow, so this one's very fruit forward as well, but it's very jammy to me. Almost like a combination of like strawberry jam, orange marmalade type thing. I get I get a lot of more citrus in this one, I think. Man, that spice is there. There's a big difference here on the nose. You could smell that it's a little bit, it's gonna come off a little bit more uh, on the proof side being 108, which is an interesting, you know, proof point. You know, normally you see 110, even 107, which was a popular, you know, which was a popular proof point even going back pre-prohibition. But a 108, it's interesting. A little bit darker here. This one is more of the dark brown sugars, you know, maybe a little hint of like, uh, it's almost coming off like a rum, maybe like a dark maple syrup type thing. It's nice on the nose. All right, let's give it a try. So on the palate, this is definitely more spice driven. I think it's a little bit more savory when compared to the shanks, which I think is a little bit sweeter. Uh, but I get a lot more spice on this one. You could definitely feel a little bit more of the proof on this one. This is a, um, yeah, this is a darker expression. It's, it's a, again, a little bit more brown sugar, dark maple syrup. I mean, you could even get into a little bit more of like a molasses type note here. Not getting the chocolate like I was getting on the shanks, but this also is coming off a little bit older. I'm getting more of an oak presence here. More spice, obviously, I think the higher proof helps the spice a little bit along. They're actually pretty different. Now the use of malted rye, I think in here, you know, amps up the uh, the sweetness a little bit, amps up the spice, which I really do like. And this one easily has the longer finish. Yeah, I you know, after that sip, it's definitely more spice driven. I think it's less sweet. I think this is a little bit more oak forward. I think you get a little bit more barrel influence here. I think the malted rye really comes through a little bit stronger in here. The flavors I think are darker, but they're not as sweet as the shank. So, so before we break this down, just a quick note about how these two are connected historically done and done. So the story goes that Bomberger's Distillery, which was at that point Michter's, closed down in 1990. It was the oldest distillery in the United States at the time. Now brothers John and Michael Shank had started the distillery way back in 1753. Abe Bomberger bought the distillery in 1861, apparently during the Civil War. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Now the distillery shut down during Prohibition like a lot of them did, but reopened after. It changed hands multiple times and eventually it rebranded as Michter's in the 1950s when Lou Foreman, one of the distillery's then owners, created the modern Michter's brand name by combining portions of his son's names, Michael and Peter. So that first half of Michter's for Mick and then Peter for Tur. So Michter's, Michael, Peter. I guess it's a way to come up with a name. <laughs> 
All right, let's break these down a bit. All right, so prices on both of these are about 100 bucks. Uh, secondary market value, as I said, you're gonna see these fluctuate a lot. Um, you know, for anywhere from 100 to 150 to $200. Uh, these usually can be all over the map depending where you find it. Availability for this is limited, but generally most places in your area that get in a lot of mictors generally will get these each and every year. Uh, value for these, at $100 MSRP from mictors, I think these are actually an even value. You know, the, the thing is, is like you don't get an age statement with this. It's non-age stated, obviously. Uh, they don't tell you anything about the age. But the one thing that does bother me about these bottles, and it's just not the fact that it's non-age stated, but also, if you didn't watch this review or watch someone else's review, and you know, you had no idea, if you were just a consumer walking in the, in the door, you would have no idea that there's some malted rye in here. The Shanks has a French oak finish to it. Um, you know, none of that information is on the bottle. And I know they do change from year to year, but I just wish they would tell you a little bit more on the bottle, of, you know, what's going on. Uh, the most I'd pay for these, I think these are right where they need to be, right about $100. It's from Michter's. Michter's is usually a lot more expensive, especially their regular releases and their, their um, you know, more of their limited releases. So 100 bucks for anything from Michter's, I think, I don't think either of these are, you know, anything you should overpay for. So I like them right at retail. Uh, alternatives for these, I really had to think about this because this one, this is this is a little tough. I think the Bomb Burgers is a little bit easier to come up with an alternative for. The Shanks, not so much. I think for the Bomb Burgers being 108 proof, it's a, it's a little bit more spice driven. It very much reminds me of like kind of like a Four Roses Private Select or even like Four Roses Small Batch Select. So I think that's a kind of a good alternative if you can't find this. As for the Shanks though, I'm trying to find something that's this low of proof with all that butterscotchy goodness. The only thing I can really come up with is maybe like one of the Maker's Mark private selects that have a specific, you know, stave, uh, stave combination that gives you kind of this buttery, fruity, spicy type of uh, profile. Um, it's not a weeder, but it drinks like one because the, the proof is lower and it's a really easy sipper. As far as recommendations, I love both of these at um, at retail. Um, I, I don't like them, so if you walk into a store and these are priced at $200 or more, I would pretty much walk away from them. Um, or even $150 or more, I think these are priced just right. Now when it comes to which ones you should buy, it really comes down to what you like. If you like a lower proof, more butterscotchy experience, which is what I like, I'm leaning towards the Shanks. I think Bomb Burgers, as good as it is, I think has a little bit of a, of a heavier competition out there. You could find other stuff that could measure up to the Bomb Burgers or even exceed it. I think the Shanks is a little bit in, in, in a league of its own, being just over 90 proof, having those butterscotchy, fruit forward, uh, you know, that mix of flavors. I think the Shanks this year is actually more the outlier. So for me, the, I'm, I would go with the Shanks this year. All right, guys, I well, hope you enjoyed this review for the Shanks and Bomb Burgers releases in the Legacy Series from Michter's. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had these yet. It's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. So I'm going to make a, uh, a Shank Burger. <laughs> the old Shank Burger blend. Let's see how this one comes out. You know what? This actually, in theory could work pretty nicely. Let's see. Hashtag Shank Burger. If you have these two bottles, do it immediately. Cheers.